Hey guys, <clears throat> what a great way to start off the video. How's it going? Um, this is a tutorial on, <clears throat> I'm sorry I'm kind of sick, on how to make Minecraft doors move and stuff. This is the first one, um, I should probably turn off the volume, it's really annoying. Uh, basically, it's five blocks each with the redstone torch on the side facing the next one that's facing that one that torch is facing that one that torch is facing that one the torch is facing that one redstone wire connecting all of them and an output go into this and then go into whatever you want in this case it's a door it could be anything really though but um I guess it's useful I don't really know I haven't really used it for anything except for a door but you could make this by doing five blocks or seven or nine or any odd number. <clears throat> and let's see. Here's an ordinary painting. But look. Oh, there's a door behind it. Oh, that's so cool. <clears throat> yeah, that's so awesome. Oh, okay. Let's go to the redstone testing facility. Alright, we start off over here, this is a memory cell, <clears throat> I'm not really sure how this works, but see the door is closed, if you flick this switch then it opens, if you flick it again, then it's closed, if you flick it again, then it's still closed, oh no, then it's open, never mind, <laughs> if you flick this one, then it's still closed, doesn't matter how many times you flick it, it's still closed. <clears throat> if you flick this one, then what does it do? And that still does the same thing. Oh, that's not cool. Never mind. Okay, that's not a cool thing to do. It just confuses people. Uh, or gate. This is an or gate. If either one of these things is open, then it will be open. But if both of them are closed, then that is closed. This, I'm not sure how this works. It's a rapid pulser. <clears throat> but, I don't know. These two torches are connected. And these two torches are connected. And basically, everything is connected to each other. So if I shut it off, it just turns off. <coughs> hmm, sorry. And if I turn it on, it turns on. Ah. This is an XOR gate, or a SOR, I guess that's how you pronounce it. You turn this on, or off. Then the door opens. You turn this off too. And the door closes. Alright. Uh, I actually made a Minecraft Let's Play series. I made three or four episodes of it, but the quality was really bad. And this quality should actually be uh, should be pretty good. I guess I just got Camtasia 7, and I really like it. So that's my story. All right, this is what a NOR gate. Yeah, this is a NAND gate. N and NAND. If the this is kind of like an OR gate, I guess. Except an OR gate, if both of them weren't up, both of them were down, then it would be open. But in the N and gate, if both of them are up, then the door is open. See? This has to be a NOR gate. Yes, NOR. So if neither of them, if both of them are up, then it's open. But if neither of them are up, or if just one of them is up, both of them have to be up for the uh, door to be open. So that, that's a lot of doors right there. And I don't think there are any more doors. No, no more doors. Okay. And that was my tutorial. Hope it helped. If you have any questions, just leave a comment in the comment section. Oh, I missed. Alright, see you later, guys.